Well, feedback's massively important in any context, uh, but Boris Becker once said, feedback is the breakfast of champions. And unless you know how you're doing and you get to know regularly how you're doing, I find it, uh, well, I don't know how people improve. I think the question in most employees' heads is, how am I doing? And the question that's quite difficult for the employer to answer is to give you the truth about how you really are doing. The thing that I would emphasize always is balance. Because I think the, the, the form of respect that you can show people when you're giving feedback is to cover off the positives, which gives you permission then to cover off the issue you want to change. And I think once you've built up that bank of positivity, you can actually deal with issues in people's behaviour. But you should never tackle their personality. If I was to say to Leon, the trouble with you, Leon, is um, there's very little he can do because he is who he is. However, if I was to say, Leon, I think you're a great guy. I think your, your recent activity has been fantastic. There's just a couple of things I'd like to mention. He he will be much more open to that and he'll be much more likely to do something positive about it. Feedback is, uh, is almost a dance. There's two people involved and we spend lots of time thinking, oh, how's the best way to deliver? But actually what you find is, uh, is how's the best way to receive? And that's something that I've been focusing quite closely on here today is because if you're in the wrong state to receive feedback, then you're going to be defending straight off, the, straight off the bat. So in order to absorb any of the juice in it, you need to be open to receiving feedback in the first place. And obviously when you're about to receive feedback, the, t the tension, you can obviously see it in some people's faces. So one of the keys is just just relaxing, releasing tension and letting it wash over you and finding the juice in it. I think also it's really important that feedback is up to date, relevant and current. So leaving it for a year is not a good practice. So coming from a world of elite sport, I was given feedback you know, multiple times an hour, pretty much for, for the entire day in all my different sporting adventures. So I was very much used to getting feedback constantly. One of the biggest uh, differences I noticed being in the corporate world for the past 10 years and looking at high performing coaching, coaching and mentoring is that the resistance to give feedback because you're thinking potentially it could upset someone um, and therefore it becomes infrequent and therefore it becomes this big thing that people shy away from. I spent 15 years of my corporate life in a retail environment which is uh, often a, an environment of fear and of barking orders and shouting at people and telling them what's wrong and we change that into much more of a coaching by walking around type environment where you offer help and you offer advice rather than giving people all negative feedback you're, you're actually helping them to improve and I think it made a massive difference to the the feel of the organization the the well-being of the individuals and the performance so I think done well it's transformational so the key to a high performance culture is consistent feedback regularly and in the moment and it could just be great presentation I've just got a couple of things I noticed are you happy for me to share that with you as we're walking out of the room mm. and then it goes in straight away while David's still running it through his system it doesn't need to be a formal thing it could just be a consistent thing and it transforms transform teams, individuals and organisations from average to performing to high performing.